Heavenly Father, oh the blessedness, the absolute abundance of happiness you bestow upon the one whose walk is righteous. Father, we praise you for the promise of your word in the multiplication of those blessings we shall enjoy when we walk in the path of your commands. But oh, how much higher the anthem of our praise is raised as we rejoice in the provision of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, whom you sent as the Word became flesh to demonstrate for us how to walk in righteousness. He is our ideal, our pattern for walking in this wilderness world but not being of it. He is our example for how to impact this world for your glory, but not be affected by it. How truly blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Father, the wicked have no understanding of your ways. Forgive us your blood-washed children, for those tiny errors of compromise we make when we spend our time keeping company with those who live in sin, watching them, listening to them, walking with them, laughing with them. Oh, the silent, slippery slope of the slow fade that leads us towards making the world our habitation rather than you. Like Lot, who being seduced by the offerings of the world moved so close to Sodom he barely escaped its destruction and doom. The scoffer's ways do not edify or enrich our lives. How disparagingly they speak of sacred things. But you, O Lord, are our daily bread. May your word be our daily delight as we feast from the bountiful banqueting table you have prepared for us in your word. How infinite the supply of your heavenly storehouse to nourish and to sustain us. And what delicious delicacies and rare treasures await us when we make your word our hourly guide and meditate on it day and night. What glorious results come from the seed of your word which you have planted in our heart when we take time to cultivate the inner life of intimacy with God. What pleasure you find in us when we abide in the light of your Son and drink his life-giving dew. Your tender husbandry transforms this tiny branch life into a mighty and fruitful tree that is planted by rivers of water, bringing forth its fruit in its season and whose leaf does not wither so that we will prosper. How fruitful and full of branches we become because of your many waters. But let us humbly heed your warning for the wicked for them this promise is a resounding not so. They are like chaff that the wind blows away, worthless, withered, winnow chaff, easily carried away by the world, unstable and unable to stand in the day of judgment. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. Oh, the blessedness of the man who puts his trust in you, whose hope is in the Lord. We have been washed in your blood and blessed with the gift of your spirit. You have put your law in our minds and written it upon our hearts. There is no greater joy than the knowledge of you. May our earnest desire and utmost pursuit continually be to spend time with you, to love you more and to know you better. You, O oh Lord, know the way of the righteous. You know us better than we know ourselves. You know our greatest need is you. The extraordinary gift and sacrifice of your Son proves your amazing love and compassionate care. May our life reflect our love for you in all that we think and say and do so that your light so shines through us that others may see your goodness in all we do and glorify our Father in heaven. Take possession of our lives and fill us with the fullness of yourself as we journey these next 300 days to the promised land of deep abiding intimacy with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for laying down your life on the cross where you hung up the sin-stained garment of our human flesh and being raised from the dead, having left our grave clothes behind 
provided us with your royal robes of righteousness so that we could enter the throne room of God boldly, confidently, to enjoy sweet fellowship and unceasing communion with our King. May we not neglect the sacred stewardship of this costly and extravagant gift of your amazing grace and abounding love. All praise and honor to your glorious name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen.